Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is an off-the-grid reading, which is timeless. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you that creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. So yeah, another off-the-grid reading, you know. Me and Brian went walking around out there in the nature, came back and thought, ooh, Let's get some uh, energy into a reading, right? <clears throat> so, yeah, this is a timeless reading. So if you're catching this video, maybe it's meant for you. Maybe, maybe not. I'm going to start out here with the Morgan Greer Tarot. Okay. Um, these have been pre-shuffled. We're going to go ahead and shuffle one extra time just so we can get the general energy of this off-the-grid reading, right? Remember, you guys, just take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't manifest weird stuff into your life. Okay. Let's see what... Let's make sure it's not upside down. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Huh. I guess the bottom card was upside down. Or did, was I not uh, paying attention there? Maybe I wasn't. All right. There we go. Now we're good. We got the Ten of Cups. So somebody could be thinking about this kind of stuff, you know, Ten of Cups, happy family, happy home. Or, you know, the Ten also represents ending of cycles, right? So a marriage could be ending, only for something new to begin. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to begin a new marriage and okay, you know, maybe somebody's separation or separating or divorcing or whatever. But it doesn't mean like, okay, go from one, jump to the other. No, it takes time. Relationships takes time, and if you want this Ten of Cups to be successful, then you got to take your time. You know, you want to do it right. So we're just going to set that over there. All right. <clears throat> Let me put it over here. Maybe you guys can see that better. Okay, yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and find out what's really going on. You know, what is somebody thinking here? How's the marriage going? Is it going okay? I mean, you know? Well, let's see. This is in the reverse. This is in the upright. Or whatever. We'll see in a sec, right? Look at another card. Okay, two of them. Okay. What do we have here on the bottom of the deck? Oh, shoot. We have the death card. So it kind of looks like there is, okay, there is something that's coming to an end. All right, there is. So I'm going to set this aside for a sec. Let's see what this is. All right, we got the fool in the reverse. Somebody may have decided not to take a leap of faith, or they thought about this in the past, that they're not going to take a leap of faith uh, with somebody uh, because of some reason or another, right? Okay. It's because somebody lied about something. Somebody lied or they deceived something in regards to this situation. So what I'm feeling like is that in the past, somebody may have lied to another individual um, about taking a leap of faith, right? They couldn't. Why? because they were married, okay? Somebody was in this Ten of Cups marriage energy. Now, you know, <clears throat> this Ten of Cups, it doesn't look like a, a loving kind of picture. It kind of looks like a stronghold kind of picture. Like two people are gripping that cup because, you know. And, and it doesn't feel like, you know, it's like fighting for something almost, right? Are you guys getting that sense? I don't know. I'm feeling like that. A stronghold, like, you know. And it looks like somebody is holding on to this for some reason or another. Now, we do have 
we do have this King of Cups in reverse here now. This guy is not very emotional. He doesn't have, you know, when he's in the upright, he looks like, you know, very dashing and debonair. But in the in reverse, he looks like, ah, all that, you know, the, the cup is empty. It's poured out. This person has no more emotions to share or doesn't want to share or just is not a very emotional person. Doesn't show their emotion. Not too much, you know. This person could also be somebody who, like, sleeps around and stuff, you know. Not very loyal. Uh, not very emotional, you know. All that fun wrapped into one, right? So, we do have the uh, Monarch playing cards. So, let's see what the Monarch cards have to say in regards to this situation, right? Let's clarify this fool in reverse. Why is this fool in reverse, please? All right, so we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. The Eight of Swords is about feeling trapped, right? Uh, it could be a self-imposed prison. It could be, you know, going to jail or something, um, house arrest, rehab, whatever. But whatever this situation was, somebody freed themselves from it, okay? Wherever they were trapped, they freed themselves from it, okay? Because they weren't able to take a leap of faith before, something has allowed this person freedom. There might be a change of heart. Let's see. What else do we have here for that fool in reverse? Okay. So somebody also... Um, has made sense of a situation. So they got free from a situation because they figured something out. All right? Somebody figured something out with that Nine of Swords and with this King of Wands in reverse, okay? Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. This person, whoever's dealing with this person, you know, they're dealing with a manipulator. Somebody figured out that they're dealing... Because the King of Wands in this deck, this is also the Magician, but this is in the reverse. The magician in the upright is somebody trying to manifest. Manifesting in a good way. In the reverse, this is a manipulator trying to lie, cheat, or steal from somebody. A manipulation, right? So, let's see what this Five of Swords is. Why is this Five of Swords right here? What did someone do? What was this Five of Swords energy about? Okay. Burden. Something was a straight burden. Something, someone, or somewhere somebody was at was a burden. All right? Or just some situation. All right? And the situation involved lies and cheating and whatever, right? So we also have the Four of Swords in the reverse. So <clears throat> after this burden, you know, somebody did receive the consolation prize of the Five of Swords in the reverse. The Five of Swords in, is, is about backstabbing, betrayal, the ultimate betrayal, right? But it's in the reverse. So that doesn't mean, oh, they didn't get betrayed. No, no, they did, unfortunately. But they still received some sort of consolation prize. To me, this consolation prize is usually you learn the lesson. And you know what? That's as good prize as any because I'd rather learn the lesson than to go through it again. You know what I'm saying? So we have the Four of Pentacles here. Now somebody can't let go of a situation, right? Even though they got some sort of enlightenment and understanding from this burden, they still can't let go of something, right? This could be something that's eating them up inside. Guilt, you know, because of the betrayal. Maybe somebody betrayed another person and didn't realize that they betrayed the wrong person. Something like that. Or somebody could have manipulated them into betraying somebody. I don't know. Those are just things that came to mind. We have this King of Cups in reverse now. You know, that is Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. But the King of Cups here is in the reverse. You know, remember I told you could be somebody who is not very emotional, sleeps around, um, doesn't care about other people's feelings, doesn't have any sort of compassion. So if they hurt someone's feelings, they don't care. 
because they're they're emotionless. This guy's in the river. Who is this guy? Let's find out who this King of Cups reverse is, and what is he all about? Okay. We have the Ace of Swords, so with all that weirdness to him, he's still truthful. Hmm, that's kind of, you know, strange. <clears throat> Alright, we get the Four of Wands in the reverse. This is a soulmate, but this is a karmic individual. So if you're dealing with somebody who sounds like this kind of guy, then this is, you're dealing with a karmic. You're dealing with somebody who's just here to teach you a lesson. Your soulmate's out there somewhere, or your twin flame, whatever, you know... To me, honestly, a, karm, a, a twin flame is a karmic soulmate. This is the person that's meant to teach you lessons. Who you want is the actual soulmate, the person who has healed from all of these terrible things in their life and traumas. Not all of them, but, you know, the majority. And has decided to change their lifestyle style for the better. You know, that's a soulmate you want. Somebody who, who maybe vibrates on the same energy as you. You may think that way. Like, you just want happiness in your life. You want to avoid all anxiety and stress and you just want to live a happy life you might you know that's a soulmate a person with the same vibrational energy as such this person is here to just like bring a havoc and and chaos into your life who you learn from though you should also appreciate that person you know now if that person one day becomes the perfect soulmate because they because this person obviously has not learned lessons they're still in the mode of learning right one day that king of cups may be in the upright and all might be well right now though no no not right now right now this person is going through some karmic negative karmic energy right possibly you know what else too just came to mind possibly this might this king of cups might be in the reverse because they are dealing with a karmic energy who could actually be this king of wands in reverse this manipulator Male or female doesn't matter because, you know, you can think, you know, of, you know, a lot of women are in their masculine energies, you know. Um, so you have to, you know, a lot of women are standing, you know, for themselves, independent. This could be a woman. But somebody, you know, regardless of whether it is or not, somebody here, what I'm getting is this King of Cups could be finding out a truth that a soulmate is not the actual soulmate it's the karmic the person that's there just to teach them a lesson and to you know keep them miserable for the time being until they learn the lesson keep them miserable that sucks you have five of pentacles all right so this is in the reverse though you know five of pentacles in the reverse is about a loss so there wasn't a loss here because you know what i'll tell you what and i love this this person may come to the conclusion of, okay, they found out the truth, this is a karmic person, and they're not dealing with it as, oh my god, I lost, I, why? Because I think they were already miserable with that person. So I think they're thinking about it as, oh, right, I finally got rid of this person, I'm finally free, set free. They're still in the reverse, though, because, you know, inside, deep down, somewhere in the psyche, they're a little bit upset that this didn't work out. But they're happy or relieved that it's over, whatever this is, okay? Because it did bring a lot of burden into their life. And they did learn, they did learn something from it. This probably will be something that they can't let go for a long time. But, you know, it's hard to just, you know, figure something out and then the next day let go. No, it's, it's super hard to do that. So, and so this person may need some time, you know. <clears throat> so let's get these back in order here real quick. interesting story though <clears throat> get a couple shuffles in you're right this is a very nice deck of cards the monarch monarch cards made by theory too So I'm just going to set these over here, right? And remember, we did have this one card that flew out. Look, and it's the Four of Cups in the reverse, right? So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to find out. Let me get let me get two, at least two, two more cards, all right? That's all we really need, two more cards. One or two, whichever's first.
There's one, okay. We have the Nine of Pentacles. There she is. And you know what? The King of Cups in reverse is looking at that individual. All right. But is he dealing with the Queen of Pentacles? Here's another person now. So the Nine of Pentacles, lady, somebody could, this person could have Capricorn in their chart somewhere. But we also have a Queen of Pentacles here, which somebody could have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in her chart. Two separate individuals. But the King of Cups is looking at the single lady. And I think this single lady has basically led this situation of taking a leap of faith with somebody, their deceptions. I think she has let them go. King of Cups here, though, still, he might, remember I told you that there was, what was it, a uh, Four of Pentacles, somebody could not let go of something, right? Oh, my bad, this person actually, look, Four of Cups in the reverse, I don't know why I was thinking it was upright, this is in the reverse, somebody does not want to miss an opportunity with who? With this single lady. And the reason being is this person could be, you know, married to this Queen of Pentacles. But that cycle may be coming to an end because there's some, been some lies and deception there. It looks like a stronghold type of relationships. They're very controlling about each other. There's no freedom here, both of them. Well, if I can't go out, you can't go out. If I can't do this, you can't do this. If I can't do... And, you know, that's not loving and caring. That's full of uh, distrust. Yeah, there's no trust there. <clears throat> so basically, you know, that's what I'm seeing. One second, guys. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, let's get the uh, monarchs again. Tell us about this Four of Cups in the reverse, please. Four of Cups in the reverse. All right, we got the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So somebody doesn't want to miss an opportunity. Uh, but the Ten of Pentacles means that this is not a forever thing. So, so okay. This single lady may be trying to move forward in life, is maybe contemplating right now about which way to go. Right? Trying to decide for herself where she's going. The, you know, uh, and, you know, you can tell. Like, she's thinking. Look, she's thinking here. Where am I going next? I'm single. I'm abundant. I have everything I need. Where am I going next? But, lo and behold, in the background, we got this king of cups, you know, spying or watching her. She may not even know this. And this person doesn't want to miss an opportunity with the single lady, but this situation will not be forever. It's not. They're trying to get something out of her because they're married. The King of, of Cups may be married or shacked up with the Queen of Pentacles or something like that. Right? Not a proper couple, but still there and together nonetheless. Oh, shoot. That is just a big throw up of cards. Hold on. I just want to make sure. Oh, they're all messed up. Hold on. I'm putting them back, you guys, because it's just... Uh, it's too much, and, you know, we got reversals and uprights all mixed, you know, come on here. <clears throat> all right. That was sloppy, you guys, sorry. Give me two more cards for this Four of Cups. Give me two more cards for this Four of Cups, please. There's one. All right, we have the King of Swords. All right. Now, the King of Swords, he's in the upright. He, you know, whoever this King of Swords is, this is not a forever situation with this guy because he doesn't take no shit either. He's a businessman. He gives things thought. He, he knows what he wants. Sometimes, though, you guys, he can overthink. But I'm not feeling like it's like that here. I have a feeling that uh, he's not looking for forever right now because this person may be dealing with some sort of financial money loss. Uh, in regards to a heartbreaking situation. Yeah. Yeah. That's why this person doesn't want to... 
miss an opportunity with the single lady because currently or, or will be dealing with some sort of financial loss. And um, it all has to do with the third party. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Tell me about this uh, Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. What is this Nine of Pentacles here? You know, this Nine of Pentacles lady is very grounded. She's very rooted, balanced individual. She seems to be wearing some sort of gloves also, so she could be hiding something that has to do with her hands. So, okay, okay. I'm getting a message that this uh, single lady, just as a description here, might be a person who uh, there's something going on with her hands. It's either that or she doesn't allow people to see her work until it's done, or her work until, uh, something to do with work, that's what I'm getting, okay, that was kind of weirdy, but okay, now, moving along with the story here, um, we have the six of cups, so, she's dealing with somebody from the past, okay, this is a situation of the past, somebody from the past, somebody that she's reminiscing about, or somebody's reminiscing about her, it was a love though, this is a love, okay, what else with that, that nine? Okay. All right. We have the three of cups in the reverse, right? So somebody uh, in the past is no longer in this third party situation energy because they have figured something out. Okay. And it could be her. She could have dropped this King of Cups in the past because it was a third-party situation. And at first, maybe she couldn't figure out, but she did now. Now she knows. You know, uh, she, she found out some secrets or something, you know, or somebody, something gave her a sign to figure out what this was. She, she got the signal. She got the sign, all right? So that's why, basically, uh... She is single and abundant now on her own. She is single. She don't need no one's help. So whoever this single and abundant lady is, you know, she's free to go and be whoever she wants to be and, and be with whoever she wants to be. But it appears that there's other people here involved where they might be shacked up or in some sort of higher level of commitment. She is not. That might be you or, you know, you might be dealing with someone like this, okay? Okay. That's a single and abundant, happy, and all that good stuff, right? <clears throat> On a good path for yourself, basically. You know, loving yourself, that's who she is. She's a, she loves herself, and she doesn't pre pretty much doesn't care what anybody thinks, you know, because she knows how to make herself happy, right? Yes. Okay. So I go, we're going to get that final card here and see... To wrap up the reading, you know, I'm at a really nice spot. Very nice. It's so hot and sunny out there right now. Um, that's why I come inside. You guys are, you probably hear the fan blowing. The fan is good, though, you know, that's inside here is good. All right, you guys, let's get that final card. What is the final card for this reading, this off the grid reading? What is the final card? The chariot. <laughs> now, this is a card of cancer, right? Somebody here could be a cancer. doesn't have to be. We also have the card of Aries, okay? I wanted to add that. We also have... You know what? I'm going to be honest with you. All signs showed up, okay? So, you could have any sign in your chart. I'm just saying that just because I happen to notice it. Whatever. Look at what's right back on the deck, on the bottom of the deck. The death card. This is the card of Scorpio. So somebody could also be a Scorpio or have Scorpio in their chart somewhere, somehow. All right. Oh, and by the way, you guys, if you didn't know, if you don't know how to find the other signs in your chart, if you click the drop down there, just scroll down, you will see I have a link that will take you to a place that you just plug in your information and you get all it free. It's all free. And it's a nice read because it tells you all kinds of neat stuff about yourself. Okay, it's like Astro Cafe or something like that. <clears throat> so if you're curious about your own personal stuff, whatever, you can do it that way. Okay. Um, yeah. 
<laughs> also, if you're interested in my other channel to see, you know, our adventures, me and my dog Brian, you can usually find it in that drop down too. Uh, it's called Sacred Geometry Universe, but it's really hard to find on YouTube because usually you're looking for videos, so that's where it takes you to videos. But if you click the drop down, you find my Facebook. My name is there. My Facebook is public. All I do is pretty much uh, display videos, throw up a couple quotes here and there. That's about it. Some music videos. Nothing exciting, but you know you will be able to find both types of channels on that social media. Okay, I don't really go there chit chat it up with anybody though, okay, so I don't know. I don't really accept friend requests either because I'm not really there. It's not worth it. It's not uh, feasible, right? Anyhow, <laughs> let's keep going. Uh, was that like an advertisement or what? Sorry, okay, let's go. What's this chariot doing here? Tell us about this chariot, the final card. Who's making movement? There's movement to be had. Somebody's moving away, somebody's going forward, somebody. It could be this King of Cups and the single lady. King of Cups is in the reverse, so I don't know how why this single lady would want to go with him if he's all unemotional. And Okay, this, this chariot. Okay, somebody's moving towards some sort of backstabbing, deceptive energy. Okay, they could be moving towards or moving away. Moving away. Somebody could be moving away from some sort of... Okay, I'm getting it. Somebody might be moving away from an Aries. They want to let that person go. And they're moving away because it was deception.